Hi everyone, for this question, they ask, find the points of intersection of the curves y squared equals to x and y equals to negative x plus 2. So y squared equals to x is a parabola. When it is in terms of x, y to be square means this parabola will be open to the left or open to the right. Since your x coefficient here is positive, means this parabola will be open to the right. So when x equals to 0, y equals to 0, we try to draw out this curve so that we can find the point of intersection. Label your y-axis and x-axis. So the vertices of this parabola happen at 0, 0, open to the right. And then for the linear graph here, y equals to negative x plus 2. So negative indicate that this line will be going down intercept with value of 2. So what will be is x intercept where we'll be letting y to be 0. So x equals to 2. For the first question, they ask you find the point of intersection which is this one and this one. So to find the point of intersection, we need simultaneous equation. This is equation 1. And this one we let it equation 2. Then we substitute 1 into 2. So y will be equal to negative y squared plus 2. Rearrange this quadratic. Then we factorize to find out the y. So once we find out the y value, we can find out the coordinate of x x equals to y square so the points of intersection for these two curves it will be 1 1 and 4 negative 2 so here will be our 1, 1. And this one will be our 4, negative 2. For the first question A, find the area bounded of the region bounded by these two curves. So bounded by parabola and linear. So obviously, it will be in this region. So when we analyze this, area we can find the area rotate regarding x axis or rotate regarding y axis so it will be selected to be dx or dy can we be dx cannot because when you're doing dx the curve itself touch back all right so therefore to find this area we will just in term of y means area can be find by rotate regarding y axis so the equation here must be in terms of x so you have this area in two curve concept means it will be the right hand side minus the left hand side then from the lower limit to upper limit so when you're doing the area regarding y axis we will only analyze it horizontally so horizontally lower limit negative 2 upper limit 1 therefore to find the area, we form out the formula. Lower limit start from negative 2, upper limit start from 1. And then the right hand side, so look at this area. The right hand side graph, it will be our linear, which is y equals to negative x plus 2. So we express x as a subject. Let this equation in term of y. So therefore, negative y plus 2. Meanwhile, for this curve, it already expressed in terms of y, so we just rewrite x as a subject. Then we continue, we substitute. So the right linear graph, which is negative y plus 2, going to minus the left hand side graph. So the left hand side graph here is y squared. And we're doing this area respect to y axis, so we are respecting to dy. So for this integral, we simplify 
and we can start in the grid power plus one over new power in the grid constant we get linear to y then in the grid y square power plus one over new power substitute our upper limit minus lower limit which is one minus negative two make sure you write your working clearly and the rest of it you can press calculator so area answer we put in unit square then we proceed for question b they say find the volume of the solid of the revolution formed by rotating the region so rotating the region about y axis through 360 degree so volume formula will be pi so lower limit up to upper limit here we are x1 square minus x2 square so therefore look at this region lower limit still negative 2 upper limit still 1 and then the right hand side function linear so negative y plus 2 square minus the right hand side graph here will be y square then square then dy then we can simplify before we start integrate using formula so this one we can use formula in a bracket of linear this one square become y to the power of 4 so to integrate a bracket of linear power plus 1 over new power don't forget the coefficient of linear here negative 1 then minus power plus 1 over new power upper limit 1 lower limit negative to perform the step where substitute upper limit minus lower limit then we can press calculator oh. 